It's day two of IFA 2017 here in Berlin. We're in the apartment, just getting ready to do the radio show on Talking Lifestyle, which we're doing every day here. It's about midday, eight o'clock Sydney time. Uh, then we're gonna head off. We've got some meetings this afternoon to see some products, uh, some announcements, and then we're gonna gather some gear before the Today Show tonight. Uh, and showstoppers where we see a whole bunch of products from IFA. So uh, a big day ahead here in Berlin. So just the next block to the Brandenburg Gate is this uh, Holocaust Memorial. It's pretty, uh, pretty amazing place. Uh, very serene, obviously. Um, there's an exhibition underground here that you can see, but this is basically just a, a huge, huge block um, that they've constructed into this uh, memorial, um, which is a pr pretty full-on thing to, to visit. Um, as is a lot of stuff in Berlin. There, there's obviously a lot of history here. Um, a lot to see. Like I said, there's a lot to see in Berlin and a lot of amazing history. The Berlin Wall, obviously part of that, 1961 to 1989 it stood. And it's great that there's still bits of it here because the, the, the city is absolutely not forgetting. Um, in fact, all the way along where the, where the wall stood for many, many kilometers and they're extending it all the time is um, like a marking in the pathway, which always shows you where the wall itself was. It's, it's really, really cool. Just arrived at the Marriott in Berlin. We're gonna um, catch up with the people from Alcatel, see what products they've got announced here at IFA. The Idol 5 mm -hmm. S and the Idol 5. Yeah. Does that normally end up being uh, different markets as opposed to selling both in one market normally? Uh, that depends, exactly. So we just finished at the Marriott, we saw the people from Alcatel, they got a good look at some of the new smartphones that are coming. Uh, not sure all of them are going to come to Australia and I can't tell you about all of them because they're under embargo, as was a nice little family watch, so a watch for kids, but I'm going to tell you about that because I'm going to break the embargo tonight on the Today Show anyway. Uh, great little kids watch, uh, GPS tracking, um, really fun product, it's going to do very well in Australia. We're going to head back to, or over to the Messe for the first time for actual IFA, um, and we're going to meet with the folks from JBL. Well, we made it to the Messe here in uh, Berlin and the water is dripping on the camera because it's pissing down rain and uh, that's been awesome um, for, you know, the suit that I'm wearing on the Today Show tonight and all those kind of things. But just behind me there, over that shoulder, is the Harman JBL uh, tent. They're not indoors, so we have to go outdoors again. By the way, IFA, Messe Berlin, is the worst grounds in the history of convention centers because there's no interconnection between any of them. It's a nightmare, especially when it's raining. Pretty cool stuff coming from JBL, love the kids' headphones, lots of sports headphones, but the other thing uh, we need to do now is go and find the broadcast team, the broadcast location, our camera crew for the Today Show Cross. So we're walking through the halls of uh, Messe Berlin, where IFA will be held over the next few days. It's still a construction site, as you can see. Always those last minute things to do before the show opens. We've seen the camera crew, all is good with our office. We're ready for the broadcast tonight. A few more things to do, but now we're gonna go and check out Showstoppers, which is if you've been watched our CES video, it's kind of like unveiled. Uh, it's before the show starts, a whole bunch of gadgets. Hopefully, we'll find some good stuff to cover on EFTM and uh, the Today Show. Look, it's very busy here, and to be honest, most people are here for the food, I think. Because the food's actually not bad, it's probably one of the best uh, catered uh, press events I've been to. But this guy here behind me is uh, a mock-up, it's not the real thing, because the real thing of the Sandes micro SD card is actually a micro SD card. Size of your thumbnail, 400 gigabytes of data you can store on there. I love it. Uh, it's one of the one of the ideas I've taken from here that I might just try and pick up and use on the Today Show uh, this weekend. A few other things around here. I found a like a stud finder. You know, where you go to Bunnings, you buy a stud finder to find power cords uh, and the wooden studs in your walls. There's one of those that hooks up to your smartphone, your Android phone. That's pretty cool. 
And there's also a speaker here um, for your kids, and it's basically a Bluetooth speaker, but it's got these little uh, little shapes that you put on top of the speaker, and for every shape, it's a different playlist on Spotify or somewhere else. So each of your kids can have a, their own little thing, and they can control whose music is playing when, and you don't have to hand over your smartphone. So they're not got screen time, they've just got music time. Cool stuff, very busy place. I think we found enough for uh, EFGM and the Today Show. Twenty minutes before we go on air on the Today Show, and we've got everything ready. We've got the camera crew here, and we've got all the gadgets uh, that are pretty much Star Wars based. I've got the, the latest from Sparrow. We've got the latest from a Lenovo and augmented reality. There's a bunch of uh, stuff back at the studio, plus uh, Samsung's new smartwatch, Alcatel's new smartwatch too, and some great headphones from Sony. So lots of gadgets we found here, ready to go live back home to Australia. This Force Friday too, we've got an exclusive look at some of the fantastic new gizmos set to hit our shelves this year. That's an official word. That's Gizmo. right. And they're on show at a huge event in Berlin and our very own today tech expert Trevor Long is there. Hi there, Trevor. Tell us about the amazing remote control Star Wars characters that are coming to stores. Morning, Lisa. Yeah, no, this little guy here was big two years ago, sold out in JB Hi-Fi and places like that, called BB-8. But this year, uh, one of the new characters from the Star Wars film, the next film, is BB-9E. So this is a guy, $250 remote control with your smartphone. This will be the hot gadget to have. It doesn't get any better than this. This is the Lenovo Jedi Challengers augmented reality. You put your smartphone in this guy and you, and you can have a Jedi battle with a lightsaber battle with another player. All right, well, you're right in the right spot for for uh, all the tech heads, mate, and we know that you're number one of them all. Trevor, thanks for your time, buddy. Got you, Benny, no worries, mate. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah, we'll bring it in and have a play with it, trust me. <laughs>